Hey, I'm Ruby Gilman, normal teenager. We're still on for later, right? Anything for my algebra. Do what now? I mean, bro. I think I like the first one better. And this is my family. Ow! Oh, it's so embarrassing. You each landed one. Oh. I bring the pain ah. like... That's my mom. I think I can love. My dad. <laughs> my annoying little brother. And my uncle bro. But we also have a pretty big secret. We turn into giant kraken who protect the world from evil mermaids. I'm not evil. I'm just pretty. Not. Not. Grandmama. Yes. I want you to teach me how to use my powers. Super speed. Body armor. Whoa. Laser eyes. Hold my books. It's time to go big. Ruby Gilman. I bring the pain. <laughs> Gilman, Teenage Kraken, in theaters June 30th, made PG. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another movie review. I am so happy that you could join me today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Happy to have you here. Click the subscribe button below for future notifications and updates. Click the like button and share this content with other movie fans. I was fortunate to see an advanced screening of the new DreamWorks animated feature, Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. It was directed by Kirk D'Amico and it stars Lena Condor, Tony Collette, and Jane Fonda. It will be released in theaters on Friday, June 30th, and it clocks in at 1 hour 30 minutes. So, the film centers around a teenager named Ruby and she lives in a seaside town named Oceanside with her family. She is a shy, awkward teenager who is preoccupied with going to her prom and asking her crush, Connor, to be her date. Ruby was warned by her mother never to go into the water, but when she tries to rescue Connor after he falls into the sea by accident, Ruby finds out that she is a giant kraken. However, she freaks out when she can't seem to go back to normal size. The accident leads to her meeting her uncle Brill and her mother Agatha explaining to her how she can control her powers. Later on in the film, she follows Uncle Brill to the deep sea where she meets her grandmother who is queen of the seven seas. Ruby freaks out when she finds out she and her mother are princesses and she wants to know why her mother kept it a secret. Hmm. I am giving this film a solid four out of five starfishes. <laughs> Lana Condor plays the voice of Ruby and she brings an innocent, lovable energy to the role. Tony Collette plays the voice of her mother, Agatha Gilman, who is overprotective, but you can easily sympathize with Agatha thanks to Collette's performance. Jane Fonda is funny as Agatha's mother and Ruby's grandmother, and when we first meet her, we quickly realize where Ruby gets her angst from. I love it when the queen insists that Ruby calls her grandmama <laughs> because she is so bosh. Um, I think Jane Fonda steals the show here. Um, she is just fantastic. Another thing I love about this film, um, the villain is a mermaid and you just love to hate her. So it's, it's so much fun to watch. And the rest of the voice actors bring a lot of personalities to their characters. Overall, Ruby Gilman is a fun ride for the entire family. When I went to the theaters, I saw, I sat with an audience that clapped at the end of the movie. It was genuine cheers from the kids and adults. That doesn't happen very often and going to the movies has been a hobby of mine for the past hmm, 35 years, maybe more. So I think people are really going to love this film. It is definitely worth the price of a movie ticket. 
So that is all for today, my friends. <laughs> and I will see you next time with another movie review. Until then, have fun at the movies.